some crazy news regarding PlayStation's exclusive Days Gone headed to PC. But before we even dive into this video, quick reminder, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button. Share the video around. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get into the video. Now, Days Gone is headed towards the PC market. Now, in hindsight, this doesn't seem like a big deal. You know, the game came out relatively three, four years ago. It's pretty old. But here's the thing. This is only the beginning of more PlayStation games headed towards the PC market. So at this point, one has to wonder, are these games even exclusive anymore? But before we answer that, let's dive into this article written by Eurogamer. And in this particular article, it basically dives into the interview that Jim Ryan, head of PlayStation, had talking about the future of PlayStation and where their titles lie in the future. And he basically goes on to talk about the success of Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition headed to PC and how many people who brought the game and overall enjoyed it, experienced the PlayStation game on a different platform. And he basically dives into them putting more games on the PC market pretty soon, as well as he talked about the cycle of the games that they're producing in terms of monetary gain has went up over the years. They cannot sustain that level of quality without putting the game on different platforms such as PC and raising the price to $70. And you want to know why the whole reason of this happening is that a lot of these PlayStation games that people swear up and down is like the greatest game of all times, they're not selling well in terms of software sales on the PlayStation. Out of like pretty much the entire planet who has the PS4 and a, a small portion of people who have the PS5, sales aren't looking so hot. In fact, all the way back in November, Spider-Man Miles Morales sold under a million copies. So that should already tell you. And this, may I remind you, this is a cross-gen game. So it was available for the 100 million plus PS4 users, as well as the 2 million PS5 users at the time, and it still sold under a million copies. That should tell you the level of scarcity and monetary gain that they're going through. And if they're going to keep making these high production value games, they're going to need to put these on different platforms to make that income back. So essentially, these quote unquote PlayStation players who swear they're about the games and oh yeah, exclusive this, exclusive that, they're not actually buying the games. In fact, they're most likely game sharing or just not buying it at all. So it is very expected to see a lot more PlayStation games headed to PC a lot sooner than you expect. Just based off the fact that they need the money and they're not getting it through the software sales. So just to let you know, this is going to be the first of a whole entire wave of even more PlayStation titles headed to PC, even more than they already are. I mean, at this point, only the whole only on PlayStation sticker is a lie, because if you look at so many games coming out, like even recently with the recent announcement of both MLB The Show and judgment both were exclusively on playstation are now headed to xbox okay these games are not selling okay guys these games are not selling that's the reason why they have to put it on different platforms in order to sustain income everybody want to talk about xbox but game pass at the end of the day they are providing their developers with the monetary value that they deserve and need to keep their business afloat sony needs to get on that I know Jim Ryan was talking about him making his own version of Game Pass, but that is, we haven't seen that yet. But again, so the whole fanboy wars, like you need to stop with that because you guys are not buying the games. So anytime you see somebody say, oh, yeah, exclusives. Yeah. Oh, they're exclusives. Ask them, did they actually buy the game? And can they provide proof of it? Because clearly people are not paying for these games and they're not buying them. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to tell you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like the video, let me know in the comments what you know, we think about this. Do you think exclusives are dead? Do you think that, you know, people are not buying? Well, people aren't buying Sony games, but, you know, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Two or two in the mouth. Peace.